Hi, this is our next in the 90 second finance series on economic bias. That's a, a conflict of interest where money is involved. Today we're discussing home and auto insurance agents. And I repeat, we're not beating up on these agents. A better understanding of their conflict of interest from a financial perspective makes us better consumers. So here is how home and auto insurance works. Premiums that we pay for our policies come into a big bucket managed by the insurance company. And then claims, when we have a car accident, or something happened on the home front, claims come out of that bucket. The profit is the difference between the premiums that come in and the claims go out. So what I have found is that auto insurance agents, home insurance agents, actually have an economic bias to insure us for less than we need, while most insurance agents over-insure, or they have a conflict of interest to do so. But think about this. An umbrella liability policy, which I do think is a very important risk management tool, might only cost anywhere from $150 to $300 per year for a million dollars of coverage. So they're only bringing in $150, bucks, but they have a potential claim of a million. That is not a particularly good ratio for an insurance company, so I've actually had agents talk me out of getting an umbrella policy. Again, it's important that we don't demonize these folks, but a better understanding of their economic bias will make you a better consumer of home and auto insurance. Thank you for joining me for 90 Second Finance. Now I invite you to join the conversation on my educational finance blog, timmauer.com, where personal finance is more personal than it is finance.